Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. And last episode, guys, we got the airport all up and running, hustling and bustling. We got some car parks in. We got our first little cafe slash restaurant in as well. And uh, we started to make some decent profit on the last couple of days right now, if I go on the daily. Previous day, a hundred and nearly 130,000 in profit. Today, so far, 91,000 in profit. And the big change was is that we can now accept not only 75 flights a day, but 24 hours of the day, boys. That has made a huge improvement to how we make money in this game. Now, we need to make some big stacks because we are, I wouldn't say at the limit, but there's not really much more I can add on to this, apart from all the stuff inside of the terminal, uh, for increasing the amount of passengers planes coming in, because this is all pretty much geared up for small aircraft. I want to move on to medium aircraft. Now, there's two ways in which I can do this. I'm treating this as my small airport, my small terminal. And eventually here, we'll build a big building that will wrap around this current building where we'll start having then in the second terminal, uh, the large and medium aircraft in there. But I don't know whether to also put medium aircraft in here as well. Now the only reason I'm kind of like uh, umming and ahhing, you know, kind of slightly hesitant about doing it is the fact that we have limited space. If I start getting more aircraft coming in larger with more passengers, I think we'll be able to handle it. It wouldn't be a problem, but it's going to be very, very interesting. Now, if we have medium aircraft, we also need to have a, uh, a, a slightly bigger runway as well. Uh, if I go to this right now, I've got to build a medium runway to be able to get that in. So these are my options. Do I just stick it to the side of this and hope for the best? <laughs> Or do I now start beginning to build this? I think what I need to do is to stick it to the side of this. Then start earning revenue, additional revenue. Then the extra revenue that I, that I pretty much do earn. Will then fund the build of the second terminal. Oh, this is going to be interesting. It's probably going to be very, very stressful. But guys, if you are enjoying the series, please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new right here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. I'm telling you, we are going to get stressed. Um, how's the baggage anyway? The baggage is going pretty well. I don't think we've got many, many issues. Uh, do we have any like issues with vehicles? I think we're all at capacity with everything right now, even the staff, right? Maybe need some more service technicians by the looks of it. But yeah, things are going to be interesting. So to be able then to get medium aircraft, I need to complete the R&D for medium aircraft and then build a medium runway. So operations, R&D projects, we need to then do the medium aircraft one. And where is that? Am I blind? Can I not see it? I've got the large aircraft permit. Completing projects. Oh no, we did do it, didn't we? I'm, I think we did it. Medium aircraft permit. Yeah, I've just got to build the runway. Yikes. Okay, so before we do all that then, we should now have the ability to place down. Uh, the medium stands. So here's a medium stand. Look at the size difference in comparison. Also, medium stands, also by the looks of it, have the ability to use a jetway. Now, i got to figure this out. Because I want to set this up to a point where I'm able to kind of uh, bring my vehicles around. So if I just quickly pause. And if I place in... Am I placing them directly here or am I kind of extending the terminal out a little bit? Hmm, because we might need some more space, but then again, these are going to be temporary. So these stands that I'm placing right now, these are purely temporary. They're purely temporary, just so I can earn a little bit extra cash. Right, we'll only put two in. Uh, just so I can earn a little bit of extra cash, so we can then fund the build of the second terminal, where we'll house all of our large and medium stands. Yeah, I think that's... It's probably the best way to go about doing it, isn't it? It's probably the best way to go about doing it. So service road has got to connect here, obviously. But I also need the service road kind of technically looping around. So we can still keep this in. I've just got to delete the fence just here. So delete that fence. Uh, infrastructure, service road. Turn all that to asphalt as well. Now, if I really wanted to, I could whack a little kind of a, a down ramp there, but I don't think we have the ability. We haven't unlocked the tunnels yet. 
to kind of quickly bypass it because I could do like a little ramp because I'm down and pops back up over this side so it just you know I'm going to drive all the way up and around the long way around this makes things a little bit easier but I mean at this moment in time we just got to do what we can do there's no ifs no buts there's no donuts we got to do what we can do so and like I said these two are now solely temporary so I can earn extra cash to fund the build of my second terminal which will house the large and the medium aircraft. I probably eventually turn this side then into another bunch of small stands. It depends on how jazzy I, I kind of want to be. But let them build all this anyway. We got rid of all the uh, the fencing just there, so I should now be able to. Uh, I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong section. Uh, service road. Get this all now connected, so that will be all hooked up, which is absolutely glorious. And. That's as far as we can pretty much take it. we got to sort out the runway. So the runway in question. How much is the runway? Ooh, that is expensive. Now, technically, right? Technically, boys. Um, I can allow the small aircraft to utilize this runway as well. Now, I'm in a bit of a predicament. I don't know. I can't put it there because it's right against the building. I can't put it this way. So I'm going to have to technically, well, actually squeeze it in like this. Interesting. So drop you in. Right, I'll push it back a bit to give it a bit more space. But drop you in there. This is all very expensive. Right, we want the runway ramps all connected to it as well. So it shows you where the small... And the medium kind of like enter and take off from. But I'm going to keep it super simple and just do it either end. It's just easy to figure out and work out. So then the taxiway foundation. So these are a five. Oh, that's a point. Is there such thing as a like a larger one? I think we get away with these, but don't we? Yeah. Uh, a five going all the way down. So if we just do it to there. Five going all the way down. We're bam, and we're now in. So these are large. Oh my goodness me, these are really large stands, aren't they? Shocking, mate. Absolutely shocking how large these stands are. Right, a five. And then do it just like smack it down like this. Because they feel absolutely huge. Will they be okay? Will they be okay? And a five wide. These medium aircraft. Because that just feels ridiculous, doesn't it? It really does. Right, we'll do the taxi pathway anyway. At least we'll get this in while we can. So bringing this all the way in, straight across, that to there. There we go. So nothing else technically now needs to be done, apart from obviously building a perimeter fence to keep the Moo Moo's out. Which they're already trying to enter already. So build this all the way down, bring it to there. I'm going to ignore that emergency. If I can't see it, it don't exist. Bring this all the way down. Alright, bring it just to there. All the way down to here. And all the way across. So like I said, this is just going to be a placeholder section just so I can start getting um, bigger aircraft and a lot more passengers in my terminal. Thus will make me so much more cash money moolah. That is the whole reason for this. And it will fund my future expansions, which is going to be really, really exciting. So there's a lot of work to now technically get done. If I open up the runway... Uh, oh, we're missing a little bit of taxiway um, path just here. There we go. So that completes this, doesn't it? Yeah, we got to then uh, buy all the stuff needed for it, but we'll get onto that momentarily anyway. So, desks for it. So we can now go for some medium boarding desks and make sure I get this the right way around. Now, I might, I'm probably going to go for two for these. And we have an, an arrival and then an enter bit. So if I went... And place this down. So actually, let me, let me do the walls. So I want to do it similar to how I did it here. So we have our arrival bit there. Just here. 
and then this is the bit where we enter so how we do this is going to determine how we do it everywhere else and I should probably also maybe do it against this as well because the way that this is all set up where we can kind of come to the end of the wall I don't want to go too elaborate on the other side and then think, you know, find out I can't squeeze it in here. So if I place this, if that went there, that would go there. Oh, I'm trying to find out the best way to do it. Is that too far in? So if I do a double, they're the wrong way around as well. Guys, I promise you, I know what I'm doing. I promise you I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Right, I'm have that there and there. So when it comes to the walls then. We'll connect this down and round. And obviously there's a wall just there. This becomes leading out. And I'll bring that just up to here. We'll do it like that. That's how we do it. So we've got the exit coming in this way and the the entrance going in that way. And it's all geared up like this. And then we'll apply the same logic on the other one. We'll just wait for this one to be all built and all up and running. So it will take a while because we've got a lot of fence that we need to build as well. There's a lot of fence that needs to be built. So, you know, gives us a little bit of time to mess about. Actually, you know what? We'll just do it ourselves. So we've come up here by the 60. So by the 60, by the 60. Across by 30 and 40. So 30 and 40. So 30, then a 40. So apparently when you delete walls, it gets rid of the uh, secure zone. So we've got to place those back in. And then I should be able to then with the desks the medium desks here one two and because obviously this is floating in the middle we just put the wall straight down which that wall there just happens to be that wall just there so I don't know if they're coming in right now to kind of build all this which I think they are can I now get some can I actually utilize larger windows for once oh you're joking me right where the door is but that's okay We'll do a two, do, do, do a three, a three and a three. That's perfect for the window just there. So a three and a three, the side spaced out evenly. Glorious. So we select both of these and we should be able to connect them to a stand. Very good, very good, very good. Now these need to be connected to baggage. Am I at the limit with this? So you can connect three medium stands to it. So if I connect you to there, you're okay. If I connect you to here, we're okay. And if I slip both of these and connect to there, we're all up and running. So, again, without me doing anything, guys, we're now... Well, I say without me doing anything. I've just done a lot of stuff just there to get that working. But without me doing anything right now, we should now be able to schedule flights for it. And if I go to the Monday, we got a couple of flights. Now, I don't have a lot of contracts that are geared up for medium flights at the moment. But we've got the odd one or two. So, with the amount of checking desks i got down here, I think I'll be pushing it a bit too far if i got any more than the two medium stands. I think this is a nice little balance. But with that, I need all the vehicles that are able to service a medium aircraft. Now, that is stuff like the ability to get on and off the plane, which they're going to require a stair truck. Now, I don't know... I think if you would, I mean, I can use, you know, the jetways, but I don't have a second floor to the building. I ain't going that far because this is not going to stay. Um, but I'm assuming medium aircraft only need one stair truck. I know large ones can handle two or, I don't know if they actually like, go up to four or not. I have no idea. Right, get rid of all this so it's just this. So I'll buy four stair trucks. That's a pushback truck. That's not a stair truck, Sadiac. Wait, where's the stair trucks then? Transit? Oh, it's there. I'll buy four, just be on the safe side. You can never really play it too safe. 
You didn't really play too safe, so let that continue anyway until it's all purchased. Uh, decorational stuff, then we'll get some of these little planter beds in. So I'll do one there. Wait, hold on, that's not a free and a free. Oh, because of the door, the door's counted as the free, isn't it? I forgot about that, the door counts as the free, so I'll kind of space it out either side like that. Uh, we did the little carpet kind of uh, paths as well, so get my blue. I'm blue. Da ba dee da ba die. Which will be like this. Bit of a shambles, but oh, no, 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 I've done it all wrong straight away. Alright, this is all going to be marble anyway, so you might as well just cover it in marble. And supposed to be, I've got to extend the red path. So the red carpet. And we'll bring that to there and end it just there. I think that, that's reasonable. That's not too shabby. So marble. Get this all covered just there. All right, we'll just quickly sort this little section out. Straight down. There we go. All the marble is now technically in. Do you know what? I've got a better idea for this. You, you can't do cues in this, but I've got a better idea for how this carpet could look. If I scrap all that, let me just try this one as the, the little dummy pig. Dummy pig guinea pig, I mean. If I just do it like that instead. That looks so much better than what I've done here, doesn't it? Yeah. So much better. So much better, boys. Okay, glorious. And I could utilize the green. I haven't this is something I haven't done, the green carpet. But aligning with this carpet, a green little arrival square. So because I mean, I've said this before, but in, in the real life, when you go to an airport, they subconscious, could subconsciously design the, the, how the floor looks to allow you to understand the flow in which you're meant to walk through an airport. It's all subliminally, if that's the best way to pull it. It's quite smart. So, upgrade. Okay, we've done that. Hire a procurement director. So, hire a, proc a procurement director. It's one I don't actually have. So, yeah, it is needed. So, uh, executives, procurement director. We want a good one. So, I'll just keep rejecting until we get a good one. I want one in the green, boys. Oh, there you go. Perfect. And then we got to order or purchase some pushback trucks. So, vehicles... Uh, pushback trucks. I'll order four of these. Even though I don't need four, but I'll order four anyway. That should be pretty good. Now, something else that we should do is seating as well. Let's sort out some seating. So, one, two, three, four. Now, it is medium. So, there's going to be a lot more going on. Actually, I don't like the idea of them being there. If I want to get some additional stores and stuff in, I want it to be like this. Four there and four here. So if I want to build and extend maybe this, make it a bit bigger going further up. And then in this gap here, we build the uh, the, the normal shop to provide the, what they need within these areas. This is really good. So, what's an airport without shops and cash, right? Okay, we've kind of done that. Hire a strategy director. I'll get this hired anyway, because that will be the last person I need to get, you know, hired for my team. So, strategy director, we'll go with you. Very good, very good. Uh, complete the R&D for franchise shop. So, we'll get on to that at another point. I've already done everything that we need to do for the, the cafe restaurant, if that's what you want to call it. 
but we'll get on to uh, the stop uh, the shop stuff at a later date now with what's currently available we should have a medium plane here oh which we do i didn't realize it was actually here now does that mean we've had the people come through to check in because people are getting off the plane right now uh, oh one thing i wanted to quickly check is the fees so fees for medium aircraft we're going to literally double and then that's it <laughs> oh, i'm scamming so hard but i need as much money as we can get now i'm going to assume that it's going to put a little bit of stress on not only my ramp agents but also my passenger service agents as well so we all need to hire a lot more full so bring this down to here Hide a few janitors, some ramp agents, hire you. Right. Reject them all. So, need more ramp agents, need more janitors still. That's interesting. Right, we'll fast forward. Alright, hire you, ramp agent. Hire you, hire you. We're going to need quite a few, so reject you. We'll come back. Uh, Janitors-wise, reject, reject, reject. Hire you, reject, reject, hire you. Hire you, hire you, reject, reject. Uh, ramp agents, hire, hire, reject. Hire. So passenger service agents is the next one. So I need the, the good, the good fools. So hire both of them. Reject. Uh, hire. Because you can tell I need more passenger service agents because I've only got one person here working. Now a second one comes. So we can now check in two at once. And once the third one comes, we're now getting three at once as well. See, that's why we need so many more. So are we still slacking on janitors maybe? Right, look at that. Oh my goodness me, there's so many people here right there. Ready to all skidoo. Oh, okay. So the fact that they came from over there shows you that we do need so many more seats. There is so many people. I mean, how much does this plane hold? Wow. Wow. 106 in and then 90 out. Versus this that does 20 and 34. That's like having three of these land at once. Three, potentially even four or five. Depending on how you do the multiplier. I'd say four. Comfortably four. Maybe 4.5. <laughs> That's a lot, isn't it? Which will mean I make a lot more cash. Obviously. What's your issue? I'm not too sure. Right, staff. Still need more janitors. Let me just grab a couple more uh, passenger service agents. Right, sweet. We'll leave it as that. Then that should kind of see us through for quite some time. And yeah, very glorious. So this store right now, I mean, this uh, restaurant, cafe, whatever you want to call it, this has got to be starting to see a huge... I mean, we already reach our daily uh, target anyway. But we used to like double it, triple it. We could be quite quadrupling it. Right? Oh my goodness, mate. We've got too many people coming in. Right, we've got too many people coming in for this right now where we're going to have to extend it and expand it. So, let's just kind of do that, and we'll expand as far as I can, which will be here. So, we're going to have to delete this. I'm probably going to have to cancel the contract and get rid of them all, don't, don't I? Right, like, cancel the contract. I'm so sorry. Delete the room. I'm so sorry. But this is important that we do this. It is very important that we do this. So good to play mode now, so we're not skipping ahead too much. And then we'll put another door just there. And we've got a one, one, two, three, four, five, six gap. So three, four, five, six for another door. So it kind of mimics on the same, same level. Now we are missing a little bit of a secure zone.
Yeah, secure, secure zone is now all sorted. Very, very fancy, Sonny. Very fancy. Um, okay, so we're gonna flip how it, this all works as, as well for the kitchen side of it. But let me first go and uh, sort this out. So we need to. We'll get more of the uh, display fridges. So by expanding it, we should also allow us to sign bigger and better contracts. Oh, we need to put this in within a uh, food area. There we go. Um, so we should be able to get some more premium clients that will give us more money. That's what we're hoping for anyway. Okay, so flooring wise, we'll get the uh, flooring all spread all the way up, obviously. But then we'll do our little bit of a kitchen area as well. So that will take place pretty much here. And I'll build it as big as... I'll build it to here to begin with. And I'll just leave it like that until we've got everything else all added in. So, we'll start with a couple of display fridges just here. And then we'll place in two of the beer taps we'll then go to was that beer? no it was a coffee machine wasn't it they're the beer taps okay we go for the sandwiches we'll do free snacks we'll do free I'm starting to think maybe if I cancel that and then delete the snacks and stuff. I'm gonna, I could place them in the center bit here. That would be a better um, setup for them. So snack-wise, we'll do a, a block of six. Sandwiches. Another block of six. And as always, when you delete it, it gets rid of the secure zone. Um, right, that's all good. Food counter, I want to place in just there to kind of fill that little bit of a gap. And then we need the cashier stuff as well. So this is where we're kind of slightly slacking. The fact that we now need multiple cashiers. So if I do it like this, and there's a good reason for it, get the food counters like that, so it kind of creates the arch, and that's the walkway to get in to what eventually will be the kitchen when we can do that kind of setup. Because we haven't researched the ability to have the kitchen yet where we can cook food to order. So that would be great. Um, can we clone? Building tools. Because, you know, I'm so lazy. We'll see how that goes. We'll keep it like that for now and just see how it goes. But we'll definitely be able to kind of sign some better contracts. Also, that, that floor slightly sticks out a little bit. So if you do like that, you wouldn't even know. This is going to look really good, isn't it? It's going to look really, 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 really good. I'm already impressed. So what contracts could I sign to it then? We can go for Cuppa, The Bean, Hilltop. That's, no, what did we have before? We had Balbeer, didn't we? Now, Cafe Nero is, an, is a real place in the UK. They want to give me a 44% cut. Who gives me the best cut? Oh, it looks like it's going to be Cafe Nero, the actual place in real life. Sales bonus for 205 and they'll give me a $4 in daily rent. It's Cafe Nero all the way, isn't it? Cafe Nero is now here. Perfect! So not only have we expanded that then, which means we'll make more money out of the food and drink within this area, we're going to be making a lot more cash with the two additional medium aircraft now coming in. Amazing. So how has this changed for us then? So on the previous day, we lost a lot. You know, we only made nine grand, but we did spend over a hundred grand in you know expenses and stuff like that so it is what it is at this point now i wonder if i've got enough vehicles oh belt loaders i didn't get belt loaders vehicles 
baggage, belt loader. Where's the belt loader? Oh, have I got to research it? Economy. Operations. R&D. Do I need to research belt loader? Yes, I do. Right, get you researched. So I'm going to assume then we can't get baggage going on. I'm sure I've seen baggage go on. Well, we'll just make it a lot easier with belt, with, um, belt loaders, wouldn't we? That's what would happen. I don't know if we've got enough fuel trucks. Because I've only got... Like, four of them. We're probably going to need a lot more fuel trucks, aren't we? So, the Maverick ones, we require these. I'm going to buy four more. Just have them in our inventory waiting. And, uh, yeah. Are we still okay with staff, by the way? Yeah. I think we're going to be okay. So, Cafe Nero is now open, by the way. Oh, snap. Okay, all the table and chairs are pretty much filled up. So, would it be worth maybe placing a few more down? I don't want to ruin the flow. Of the area. Alright, pause. If I scrap these ones here. And then I wonder if I'm able to... Yeah, throw in some laptop tables. And then... We'll go with these little chairs here. And we'll put a nice little plant in as well. So some additional seating. And we're already half over halfway to our goal for the day. So this is glorious. Absolutely glorious. Couldn't be any happier right now. Couldn't be any happier with how this is now going. Right. Okay. Oh, should we put some big windows here so they can see out from their chairs? Can I put a large window in? Oh, I can, but it'll be off-centered. I'd rather it not be off-centered. I'll do it like that. It's still slightly off-centered. But I'm doing it from one up from the bottom. Which is in line with the chair, which would be like this. So I'd rather be off-centered by a whole lot than one tile. That's kind of annoying though, isn't it? So, a lot going on right now. There is a, definitely a lot going on. So, a little bit of a fast forward right now to get some of this additional stuff all complete. Send the new tables and chairs. This is glorious. This is great. Uh, sales have exceeded what they need. Perfect. And we're getting a 44% of the revenue. Perfect. Okay, so it's about trying to make cash. And on this current day, we've made 157 big ones in profit. If you ignore the other expenses, which comes out to be our procurement payments and construction, I've made 172,000 in profit. And it's only midday. That's glorious. Now, we keep getting all the issues popping up for the baggage as well. So it might be a good idea to think about researching... Um, you know the baggage security but I gotta wait for this to be all done though first so we've got some issues here there and everywhere how do I find out what that issue is oh it's oh I don't have enough checking desks I actually don't have enough checking desks that's an issue a real big issue Oh, diddly no. Now, there's not a fat lot I can do about this, unfortunately. There's not a fat lot. I mean, I can maybe get rid of a couple of stands here, but I don't really want to. I'm kind of limited. This is where you probably want like the, the self baggage drop-off stuff and all that kind of jazz. But is it truly that big of a problem? I mean, I ain't got the problem now, so it's obviously it's when we got the majority of the planes landing at once is the obvious reason for it. I'm going to ignore that issue for now. 
Because I know these are not staying. I know these are not staying, so just leave it as it is. Right, how are we doing over here right now? Oh my goodness me. It's ridiculous how much cash we're now making. Right, I'm just waiting for this belt loader to get done as well. It's, it feels like it's taken quite some time. Um, 200 grand in profit, obviously 109,000 with the cash flow, once you take away the, these type of expenses. We are killing the game. So how is parking anyway? Parking is something that's going to be literally full, isn't it? I do eventually want to uh, set up the ability to build this underground. We will get that, you know, up and running to a certain extent at some point. So I reckon we should plan out where the infrastructure is going to go to kind of make it go down a floor. So if I deleted this here, this square, and then built a structure... Now, I don't have the ability right now to go up or down a floor with elevators or escalators. I haven't researched it just yet. But this will be a great way to allow us... How, how big is the biggest door? Is it this? No, I'm not going to place the door in. We'll wait. But this is where we'll have the elevators and escalators to go down a floor. Uh to then access the underground car park. So that's what that there is going to be for. Exciting. Very exciting, boys. So right, operations are in D. So long. <laughs> Takes so long. Right, we did eventually get the medium security as well. Which this is something that we're going to have to uh, really, really think about implementing. We're really going to have to think about implementing this. Now, this takes up the space. I've won in a bit. Oh, what's it, it takes up the space of two tiles, doesn't it? So, if I just quickly use, for example, this orange mat here. So, there's a tile there. So, it overlaps to here. That's where it ends. So if I do that, that's a 9, 10. Why is it? Wait, hold on. A 10. Wait, what? I need an 8. What is going on here, Sadia? What are you doing? There you go. It's an 8. Right, that's where that's going to sit. So if I then do another one by an 8, another one by an 8, I just want to see where it all kind of like eventually lands. You get a two, that little bit of a two gap. Now, if I leave that gap there and maybe then allow us to go in and access some smaller ones, that could really, really work out. But what we'll do is I'm going to delete these two security areas here and we'll place one down. So this is all about trying to improve right now the safety aspects of the airport. So security wise, if I bring this down to here, uh, this security, I can literally place it just here. Or should have I gone back slightly? Um, yeah, we're going to go back by one. So it gives you the one gap there and the one gap there to the, to the two red carpets. So we'll get this one in first. Once this is up and running, I'll delete two more and then go about doing it like that. So this allows us to now have an additional level of uh, security, additional level of uh, baggage scanning. So it includes, comes with, this one comes with a metal detector and a manual bag search. This one comes with a metal detector and an x-ray machine. So increased level of security on the old baggage. And it needs four staff, so it literally does take over two of these. 
Uh, we can build a little bit of a queuing system on it as well. So I could go... Like that, so it gives it a little bit longer on the queuing system. And then we'll delete the next two here. Do you know what? We'll delete all of them. That should be able to handle it for now, until I get the other ones in. So I've got to spread the secure zone. Security. One, two, three. So that's four in total. We'll get our walls down. So we'll do it like this as well. So you feel like you're going to be isolated from security. And I don't think we can have enough uh, staff as well to be able to ha to house it. So more service technicians and more security officers. So we'll start with the security officers. They were all weak candidates. Service technician, we'll get three more there. This is weak. They give me some weak candidates, aren't they? Oh, I want better people than this, boys. What's going on? Well, hi, you. You're at least green. Hi, you. Reject, mate. Hi, you. We still got two of them that are not technically operational right now. Hi, you. Hi, you. Hi, you. All these hirees, and none of them uh, even want to work right now. Right, third one's up and running. Fourth one's now up and running. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So we'll do a little bit of a queue system just here then. There we go. There we go. So basically all queuing systems right there. We can quickly sort out the flooring of this. So first things first, make it all marble. There we go. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I could I, I could have done the blue stuff to kind of lead them in. But I'm going to leave it like that. So now we've got bigger security, which can funnel a lot more people through a lot quicker. Extra level of security thrown in. And we just need that little bit of wall just there to kind of end it all off. Worst case scenario, I can extend this round. But I think you, there's like an, an additional... Is there an additional level of security you're going to get in as well? I can't remember if there is or not. But there's room to get more in on that side. So we'll just, we'll just leave it as it is. We'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now, boys. So some decent improvements right there. We've increased the security. Increased the store right now over here. So we make even more cash. Two medium stands. Lots more passengers coming in. Perfect, 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 perfect. Which means we've got, I've now researched the belt loader, which we now have. So, in the belt loader, well, we we'll get these vehicles now for the belt loader. Which would fall under baggage, right? Uh, belt loader, I'll get four of these puppies. Very good, very good. And we could do with researching the baggage scanners for the, the conveyor belt system as well. And that should fall under, is it this baggage here? Uh, specific bag scanners. I already an unlock uh, tier three. Wait, do I already have it? I could be wrong and already have it. I do. Okay, I have a very very basic version of it, tier one. So I could at least implement that. Problem is, right? You got to build like an underground kind of setup for it, don't you? you got to build an underground setup. Now, we can't get down there, but it doesn't need to be manned. That's the probably the saving grace for us right now. 
Uh, oh, we need to. Oh, we need it. Uh, we need the ability to build. Okay, we need the floor construction permit to be able to build there. Everything all overlaps everything else, doesn't it? Can't do this without this. Can't do that without that. It's a never-ending battle. So how much we made? Ooh, three hundred thousand big ones in profit on the previous day. Minus two expenses. That's good cash considering we have. Uh, we've literally just tripled our income. We were like, it feels like I've tripled my income. So this is going in the right direction. It really is going in the right direction. Right, so this space here then, we'll get this all planned out by the way. So this space here is where the, the little shop's going to be. So I'll at least get the wall thrown in for it. So we know where that's going to go. That's where we'll have the little shop. Uh, I think we'll have some more seating up here. I'm wondering where's appropriate. A little bit of seating just there. And can't quite squeeze that all in. I'm wondering what's appropriate here. If I did that, and then the next one will go there. And do the same just here. So lots of additional seating. We've inside the terminal now, which is perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. More seating available. More happy folios. That's what I like to see. I need more security officers as well. Hire the good ones while I can. So we've got an excessive amount of uh, staff at this point to see us through. Now, anything else? Decoration statues, decorative pond, see in. Uh, in the extra term itself, I need some more trash cans. Did I get any trash cans in? Um, I want to say I haven't. Double trash cans just there. All right, we'll come down on the opposite side in just a minute. Trash cans coming all the way down. This is really going to help the, uh, the cleanliness of our airport. Very good, very good, very good. Now, we can build walkulators. We can also build some vending machines as well. So food and drink. So I'll drop in one there. One there. I'll then squeeze the next ones up here. And we need one in the middle somewhere as well. Right, we'll do one here, tucked in this little bit. And everyone tucked in just there. So spreading out vending machines as well, quite important. Now we have no food and drink on this side, so I think it will be also a, a quite a good idea to throw them in here as well. So if I do one, one, Two, two. So even though I don't have a store here, which is obviously always a good idea to do that, at least we've got some vending machines. They can grab some snacks before they check in to get on the plane. So these might be more used than the other ones because we have an actual cafe, restaurant-y style thing set up over there anyway. 
so who knows now we can change the fees of the vending machines I'm gonna put a 10% markup it might mean that they don't use it as much uh, vending machine sales three dollars yay we're rich we're rich boys so rich <laughs> Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. So, are walkulators worth it at this moment in time? Maybe. I mean, that's way too big. That's a decent size, but too big to what I need. These will be perfect. So, that is centralized just there. I think that would be a great idea to squeeze in that one there. And I can't get it right down to there, so I'll place this one just here. So two walkulators to get people to exit a little bit quicker. Pretty good idea, right? Oh, we've got all the level stuff as well, by the way. Nice. Nice right now. So one just there, one just there. So you can now walk in both directions. I want to see how much they use these. Feels like these vending machines are a little bit like in an awkward position now at that point, aren't they? Yeah, boy. I find it hilarious, man. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Right, okay. So, I'll put the vending machines down here. Probably a trash can just there as well, to be safe. So, not all of them are used. It depends on where they enter and exit from. Right, we'll do a couple more walk -laters now. So, not too close to the areas, but also spaced out enough. There we go. That's where we'll throw them. That's where we'll throw them for now. A couple of little walkulators to help and ease the access. Not everyone will use them because it all depends on where they start their path to where they end their path. But I've got walking towards the plane on the right, exit and on the left. So it makes life a little bit easier for some of them. You can see they're already using it. Glorious to see, glorious to see. And then what should we get research next then? So operations, R&D projects. We should get the subway permit. That'll be able to get people in and out of the airport a lot easier. That could be a good one. But we do need to get the stores up and running. So I reckon we'll go for this one first. So get five people working on that. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. So, let's try and end this then with getting the baggage set sorted out over here, the little baggage scanner. So, for the actual baggage salvage, before I actually build the building, the baggage scanner, it comes in, goes up, it goes out. So, yeah, building the building on this side is perfect for us. So, I'm just going to build this for now. Uh, have a little fast forward to get that done. I'll actually also delete all the walls. So it becomes like an, an open building to that regards. Now, we don't need anybody down here. So we'll, it's, it's, it's completely fine to be locked off from anything. But baggage-wise then, we're going to need a baggage destroyer. Oh, it's got to be in a secure zone. Does that need to be... Wait, this needs to be on it as well, doesn't it? So in reality, I need to build... This here as well. Right, it's... Can I cancel that? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Right, okay, so we'll have that there. I'm actually going to have to delete a chunk of this, by the way. 
and then for baggage we need the so this is just a very very basic version of it at the moment in time it's a very very basic version i don't have the level two or level three baggage security set up just yet so this is all they're gonna get this is honestly all they're gonna get come on boys let's do the delete oh secure zone thank you Thanking you. Right, so. Baggage scanner. So if it goes through, if it detects anything, it will learn, uh, obviously, sent to the destroyer, and it will get destroyed. Otherwise, let it carry on and complete its journey. So fast forward this, and we've got, again, the most basic of basic baggage security. So at least we've got something. It's better to have something than nothing. And there you go. The bag's going through there, getting destroyed. They're the ones that have, you know, been detected to have something illegal in them. But it does destroy more bags than it should because it's a very, very basic one. Sometimes it just detects what it thinks could be something harmful and destroys it anyway. So it's just one of those things, boys. It's just one of those things at this moment in time. Right, airport's looking absolutely fabulous right now. I ain't gonna lie, boys. It's looking absolutely fabulous right now. We've got loads of stuff all up and running. And we've got loads more stuff that we can eventually get done. Now, we're gonna utilize elevators so people can get to where they need to get to. But I'm gonna have to build underground this bad boy. To be able to, uh, must be placed underneath a terminal. So we're gonna place it here instead. Okay. One, two, three. How much are these? 25 pieces, 25 big ones apart. Do we now see these up here? We do. So this is for when we set up the underground car park, which we'll do next episode. We'll build these extensions of the walls. And then obviously we'll need to get some doors in. So bam, wah bam, and eventually down here we'll have the bam, wah bam, all hooked in, and that's how you get in here. So smooth as boys, marble flooring down. Smooth as boys, you got the uh, the elevators ready to rock and roll to take people up and down to the underground car park to which we'll build next episode so we can get more car parking fees because it does get filled up on busy times well wow, they've really parked their van quite awkward there haven't they uh, so we could do with more car parking spaces extra cash that we can make right boys we're gonna end it here yeah huge improvements to the airport right now and we're making quite a bit of cash so ignore with how much i know spending what kind of jazz Look at the previous day, the income and all that. It should be a lot more, a lot bigger. I do need to sign some more contracts. Uh, so we have a little bit more variety in what's kind of coming and going and landing and all that jazz. But this is pretty sweet. This is pretty sweet. Maximum monies. We'll get another store added in the next episode. Get the underground car park. That'll be additional revenue that we do make. And then we can start the build of our large uh, terminal. <laughs> our larger terminal getting that all up and running so we may it's going to be absolutely amazing so until next time i'll see you all soon so good <laughs>